Well, here's dribble drive by Xavier Rattan. He's off the window with a scoop hook. When you're hot, you're hot. And he is hot other than a match and more. Florida State has a budding superstar, Xavier Rattan Mays, better known by the acronym XRM. Good shot, XRM, my goodness. He's so hot, he'd make a dragon think about retiring. Oh, we know we know he's a special scorer, but he hit a, the first couple shots. All it takes is about one or two shots, and the next thing you know, bam. The next thing you know, he has 20. It's about what, two or three minutes. <laughs> he sleeps and drinks basketball. That's who he is, that's what he's about. Uh, he has a passion for the game like no other. That passion was passed down from his father, who also wore the Florida State uniform, Theron Mays. Growing up as a young kid, it was always one of my dreams to be able to uh, follow in his footsteps. Um, I wanted to be able to do what he did. I wanted to be able to uh, do some of the things that he did. And um, for me to come to Florida State was a dream come true. Theron Mays is 22nd on Florida State's scoring list with 1,260 points and led Florida State in scoring his senior year. Xavier accomplished that feat his freshman year, leading the Seminoles in scoring last season. Coming here, I wanted to be able to break some of the records that he set um, and, just, and just continue on his legacy and kind of kind of push him out the picture a little bit, but uh, just, to, just to be able to follow in his footsteps is really special. Well, he and his father are extremely competitive in how they communicate with one another. And, but, but I'm not real sure that's more of a competitive jab than it is anything else. I think he's becoming more and more okay with it as, as, as time goes on. He, at first, he, he, um, he still, he still kind of lives in that moment. He still kind of thinks he's still that big time scorer like he used to be, but he's kind of starting to accept that uh, he's getting a little older now and it, it's not like that anymore. While determined to match what his father accomplished at Florida State over 25 years ago, it's not the only thing that fuels Xavier Rattan Mays' fire. Two years ago, he was ruled academically ineligible to play and had to sit out the 2013-14 season. That was the toughest thing that I've ever had to do personally. Uh, just having the thing you love the most in the world taken away from you, it, it, was, it was really tough. The lowest point was when uh, my team actually started playing games and started traveling um, and having to be at the facility and watch them leave on the bus and on the plane without me. And I was just, I had to be at school and I wasn't allowed to travel. So I think that was the, the lowest point of me, for me. Xavier's choice was to go to work in the classroom and in the gym. Um, I really took that to heart and uh, I put a lot into working hard and my work ethic and stuff like that. But Xavier is, is one of the hardest working guys you ever want to be around. He's a gym rat. Sometimes I get to work at 715, and Xavier's in his car blowing his horn at me as he's leaving the gym. I mean, he's already been in the gym for an hour, hour and a half, just working on the game. Uh, it's kind of paying off now. Is it ever? And this season, Xavier Rattan Mays is becoming a more complete player. He's trying to learn to be a facilitator, why he needs to be an office and productive in order for us to be successful. I think this year you're going to see a, a, a new version uh, of Xavier Mays because he has now a, a team that's around him that he can facilitate, use, create for them, but also be able to be offensive productive when we need him.